Yo, Papa's got a brand new ball ramp video based on something not even that new. Playing more Bombermans, I'm in the second floor of the castle, and then stage eight will be at the very tippy top, I guess, of the third floor of the castle. What the hell is this thing? It's a green... It's a green Pac-Man ghost with a unibrow, and it's wearing something. Hmm. And you have this guy with the teeth who's beep beeping like a sheep. I see. So that's how it goes. Thank you for reminding me about Norman Caruso, other guy. Well, I was playing Mega Man 4. I couldn't remember for some damn reason, even though I'm subscribed to him. Maybe because... Maybe because there's only so many documentaries I want to watch at a given time. I just know they're high quality. So, when I'm in the mood for it, it's like, yeah, I can recommend. Exploding things. That's what we do. It is all the times very good for things. Yeah. This floor of the castle has less torches in it, because it's assumed if you got this far, you won't need a light in order to see anything anymore. There is no longer any blind spots to be concerned with regarding the lighting in the fucking Bomberman game. Are you really worried about that? Yes. Am I just... Wow. How many bombs are... That's ten bombs! Maximum bombage! I don't think I get more than ten. Holy hell, I thought nine was the limit. Now it's time to truly decimate the populace until they're all vanished into thin, crispy particles, which I can explode yet again. Explode until they are nothingness. Literally become the salt of the earth. It will have you saltin'. So saltin', you be snailin'. You be snailin'. Mission snailed. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's got like a blue bandana. Maybe this is like some super ninja guy. Or maybe not. I think that yellow guy with the teeth might be related to the blue one. You know what? I've decided that's canon now. And what canon? I have no idea. Yes, hello, I'm going to create some Bomberman fanfiction. That reminds me of the time I heard about someone being like, Okay, now it's time for a romantic fanfiction based on the ideas of... What was it? Uh... Shit, I can't remember. Oh yeah, it, when Minesweeper met Hearts, or Solitaire or something. I think there's one with Free Cell in it too. Why do I know this? Um, well, I didn't want to know it, but after knowing it, how could I forget? How could I forget, indeed? Stage 7-3, that's a place we may have been to at once of our lives. Many of our lives were spent there, bombing the countryside. Spending time with President Obama. Uh, mm -hmm. Dancing to the La Bamba. Mm. And using my favorite weapon, the Bomberang, of course. That's probably something Tyler Ty Tasmanian Tiger has. There's an explosive boomerang called the Bomberang, because haha. Uh. Hey, yeah, little bat dragon things that look like they belong in Dragon Quest. They're still here. I've gotten used to it, though. Yeah. Yeah, more explosions for the explosion god. On the bomb formers, the bombs have defeated the deceptive bombs. Thank you, auto bombs. Your humanity's savior against evil bomb kind. It's like, there's such thing as good bombs? Oh, yeah, sure. walk through all the things. I'm just missing the ability to walk through heart blocks. Well, that'd be super broken. As in, it wouldn't actually work. Like, because if you could put a bomb in there, I think that's why the game would not be able to understand what you're doing. It's like, you're wasting a bomb. It can't possibly do things like that. We can't let you walk through there for that very reason. Also, I can't play boss within the soft blocks anyway, so I don't know what the problem with the ability. It's just to make things somewhat fair. Although, if we didn't have this easily geometrically spaced grid, you'd be constantly missing because you'd be like, am I aligned with it now? How about now? Like, if it was all empty space? 
it's it's better generally in a bomber game you try to get your enemies as soon as possible because if you leave more of an open field they have more room to maneuver and you're gonna spend a lot more time chasing them down that you would like finally a gameplay tip about bomberman I thought I'd never see the day okay now we come to the exit portion of the map where the fuck is it? No one's gonna know, but ten bombs shall tell me the truth of things. And that there is nothing. Nothing to tell the truth about. Goddamn. Do not waste yourself to the bombs. The bombs, they are your friend. Finally, I have moved on to the great beyond, the bed, bath, and beyond. Stage 7-5. Okay. Oh, there's even more shit. Even more! Oops, all enemies. Oh no, more enemies, etc. Yeah, oh no, more is the prequel meme too. Oops, all. So, I'm waiting for someone to make a le Lemmings mod called Oops, All Lemmings. And also, Oops, All Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That worked too, because someone did make Oh No, I'm hit my neighbors very early on. I do know about that game, thank you for asking. Although it's kind of a pain. It's not because I would die in playing it. The problem is, the people you're saving will die. And that's that's where I find fault in my own philosophy of games. Like, man, I end up being more responsible for myself than like other you know, programmed NPC beings. Oops, don't put me on an escort mission. It's like I work alone. What a lonely place it is to be where you are. Do you have something to prove, Bomberman? Are you a lone wolf of explosive potential? Of course. Of course you are. And we love you for that. It makes our hearts explode and our butts explode because I took a laxative and it was not very Wario smooth moves of me. Actually, it was. But I wanted a reason to say smooth moves. Smoothie, smooth boy. It's like speedy speed boy, except with a smoothie. Yeah, I could go for like a death by chocolate bomb. Yeah, a chocolate bomb. Actually, yeah. I think there's such a thing. What I haven't had in like an eon is a Pop Tart. Because it's carbs. If that Pop-Tart was, like, packed with protein, I'd be like, Okay, this is my life now. A bomb-tart. Of course, why didn't I think of it before? It explodes inside your digestive system, clearing it out, so you no longer have to use the bathroom. Just literally blow up shit inside yourself, and never use the restroom again. Here, eat all these bombs, make them part of your diet. Bam, done. They explode when they get in your intestines. Not sooner, not later. Unfortunately, the side effect is that it's going to be the loudest, most flatulent fart you've ever heard. So consider that. The cost of not pooping is to fart endlessly. Not something we discuss. I suppose that would probably happen if you had a Jaeger bomb also. So don't do that. Anytime bomb is the name of some kind of cocktail, you should avoid it. Unless you like being knocked out. Do 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 coming over there, baby. Let's go go across the air and send our bombs over to the chair over there. Oh. Come on, Scoffy! Scoffy! Scoff gate. Alright, there's our power-up, another bomb, except, as I did say, 10 is the limit, so let's count. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10. It does not go beyond 10. I suppose that is the limit for the flame-up power-up, too. That's okay, though. We are more than prepared. We've been prepared. Even if we only had five bombs at a time, that's more than enough. But is it ever enough? No. The endless desire to explode things. 
very chadly. Okay. What's the next? Stage 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, how could I have made it this far without going insane? Hmm. Well, bummer man. You and I, we've worked together a while. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm just gonna not play Bomberman for a while after this, because I, I realized if I did that too much, I would just go cr I would go crazy. It's not like with Mega Man, where everything is different. But with Bomberman, it's all like, yeah, if you played one, you played them all. It's like, oh shit, you're right. At least the 2D ones. The 3D ones have a lot to like. A lot of very much things that you would like to do and put it up for school and explode your science lab experiment. Your number one, not the science fair. Alright. What about the science unfair? Where one gets in free of charge. How is that fair? No, obviously only the richest people. That's what's fair, according to Fair People magazine. I think not. And now for this boss. Could it be difficult? No. It's, uh, wait, what is this thing? Oh, it's like that one bubble one, except it's one, there's there's five of whatever these things are. They're not really threatening. See, I got rid of one already. At times that by five, they get the most out of what you have. There should be a fifth one. He's hiding. Someone go find him. But he could never find him. Oh. Huh. Is it four then? You know what? The number doesn't count. Or the number doesn't matter. They're not difficult. Just don't try to hit him when their shield's up. Because it won't work. And now you're a goner. Just like my goner friends at the Gone Villa. Thanks, Gone Villa. You're a real home improvement. Yes, take him. Take him away from all of us. From the bottom of our bombliest hearts. Yeah, call me Bombly. If you don't mind, very well. Finally, next time we'll finish this shindig and take a bomber break. Oh, 